If you're just diagnosed with colon cancer, let me give you an idea of the doctors and specialties involved and their role in your care. So if you're diagnosed, meaning your gastroenterologist found a cancerous polyp during your colonoscopy, uh, this will be sent to the pathologist who will review it under the uh, microscope to establish how aggressive this tumor looks under the microscope. The next step usually is if a uh, cancerous polyp is identified to see a dedicated colorectal surgeon. But around the same time, you will also see a doctor who is a medical oncologist like myself who uh, gives uh, chemotherapy and potentially you will also be seeing a radiation oncologist depending on the location of the tumor. It is very important to know that for the optimal outcomes in the care of colon cancer patients, a multidisciplinary approach has been shown to be beneficial, meaning going to a center where spe different specialties all come together and think about the patient at the same time to come to the best results. Usually what happens for uh, the majority of colon cancers is that you undergo after diagnosis resection uh, or removal of that part of the colon and it's important to know that your surgeon will remove at a minimum 12 lymph nodes around the colon to establish better the stage of your diagnosis. Based on the results, depending on how deep the tumor has grown through the wall, if it has grown through surrounding tissues, if it's in the perirectal fat or is involving the lymph nodes, your medical oncology doctor, the chemotherapy doctor, will determine whether you would benefit from a six-month course of chemotherapy. Uh, tumors of the lower colon, uh, what we refer to as rectal adenocarcinomas, uh, will benefit from a course of combination radiation with chemotherapy for s about six weeks actually prior to surgery because it has been shown if you start in those patients with radiation plus chemotherapy followed by surgery, the outcomes are improved, fewer patients will need a bag, and there is less chance of the cancer coming back around that area. Again, depending on whether lymph nodes were involved or not, your doctor will talk to you about completing a total of six months of chemotherapy after the surgery, very similar to the other colon cancers. In addition, you will need to see a nutritionist. You will uh, possibly be referred to a doctor from integrative medicine to talk to you about lifestyle habits. Uh, you might see a supportive or palliative care doctor to assist you with nausea control, pain control, and overall well-being. So this will show you that you will be taken care of, of a large team of uh, per people with different uh, specialties and expertises in order to make sure that uh, you have the best outcomes uh, in addition to the best quality of life during your treatment course. For an interactive tool to learn more about your colon cancer and your personalized treatment options, go to mycoloncancercoach.org.